back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a Diamond Art Club unboxing times three and a half. So if you didn't know, Black Friday just passed, which of course, if you didn't know, you're living under a rock. And Diamond Art Club had a sale. So, uh, and they also released a bunch of images. So you guys know Miss Coffee had to get in on that. So I did buy three kits and a book. So we're going to take a look at these kits, and I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. The first thing we're going to look at is this book, okay? Because when I was told that Randall Spangler had a book, Maggie does like dragons. I don't do Randall Spangler often because I'm not a dragon person, but I have a child that likes dragons. So what the perfect gift than a book? The, dar the Draglings Bedtime Story, Randall Spangler. And so when I saw this on the Diamond Art Club site, I was just like, look, listen, I'm going to have to get that. And it has some of the your favorite images from the diamond painting world in it as well. And I'm not going to flip through the entire book. I just want to look at some of the images in here. So this is really, really cool. Something I wanted to get for my little magpie. So there you have it. Bedtime Story by Randall Spangler, The Draglings. I love it. And I think this book was only like $19.99. On the book it says 1995. On the website it's 1999. I'm just saying. Twin Dragons Publishing. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, look at the little dragon sheep, Ben. All right. So I just wanted to show that because I haven't seen this unboxed yet. So like, it's a really cool hardcover book. Look, listen. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> so I wanted to just show that real quick. Like I said, I'm not going to flip through it because, you know, intellectual properties, all that fun stuff. But this is something that I did see on. It wasn't on the Diamond Art Club website per se. It was on their Facebook page. And then where it has a shop button, I saw the book. So if that's something you're interested in. Now, let's get to these kits because we got three of them to get through, okay? <laughs> We're going to be here for a little bit. So get your snack, get your kit, get whatever you're working on. And work along while I unbox some diamond paintings. So we're going to... Push two of these kits off to the side there. Yes, I'm still in my jammies. So, what's the first kit we're going to unbox? Not this one. <laughs> I want to do one of these other ones. So, the first kit we're going to unbox is Moon Goddess. Yeah, so it's a 56 by 56. It is a round, and it does have AB. So, let's go ahead and take a look inside of this one. So, we're just going to rip through the plastic like a crafty savage here. Uh, all right, all right, come. Nope. There we go. Get, get. So I hope you all had a happy holiday. We are just coming off of Christmas. My back hurt. <laughs> I'll explain later in another video. So here we go. So we're going to get into this box, or we're going to attempt to get into this box. We're going to dump all the contents out. Now, this will have the old toolkit, so don't fret. Don't worry. The new toolkits are coming. They just haven't gotten here yet. And, of course, we have that little sticker that I like to put on the side of the box that lets me know what is in the box for whenever I go to diamond paint on it. We have our toolkit. If you've never seen a round toolkit by Diamond Art Club, it has a pen, a squishy, a couple of um, multi-placers, some baggies, and a white boat with a funnel. Y'all don't care about no toolkit. Let's get into this kit. It's the inclusion for me. So those drills were ready to pop right on out of there. So we got our drills. We got our kit. So let's take a look at this kit real quick. This literally just showed up at my house like an hour ago. And I was like, okay, I got to unbox these. I don't typically unbox what I purchased, but this time I had to because I just, I just had to. So let's take a look at Moon Goddess. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at it. How awesome would it be if that moon glowed? That would be completely awesome. So we have Moon Goddess. Again, it's a 56 by 56. It's by Sarah Mustafa. And it has... Here we go. Moon Goddess, Sarah Mustafa, start and end date. There is the image. It's absolutely gorgeous. 56 by 56 round. It has 42 colors. All right. So that's not too bad. It's weird seeing the symbols in color again after just completing the mystery kit. <laughs> so there you have your image there. And that is the diamond painting. So now we're going to take a look at the drill. So if you're someone who doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me, stop struggling. Oh, I didn't mean to knock you over. Ugh. 
we're gonna get that out of there. <laughs> so we're gonna go through the drills real quick because like I said, we got two other kits to go through. Let's make sure you're nice and straight here. Here we go. 3865 times one, two, three. So we have quadruplets for 3865. 312, 775, 415, 814, 814 again, so double trouble for 814, 3770, 803, 125, and AB alert. Yeah! So if you're new to diamond painting and you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. When you lay them down on your kit, they will reflect the light of the drills laying next to it and make them sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So 125 is the first AB of this kit. So let's keep it going. We're going to figure out exactly where that goes as soon as we're done looking at the rest of these drills. So 3841, 318, 356, 3325, 792, 3807, 3830, and 550. Our next string. 498, AB alert. 101, yeah. Same explanation, different color AB. We have a light icy blue AB. And if you are new to diamond painting and you don't know where exactly are the diamond or the ABs on a diamond art club? So the ABs on a diamond art club are going to be less than 150. So any number less less than 150 is going to be an AB, and you can tell the ABs because they have that iridescent coating on them. Yes, I'm here for it. 3860, 355, 3733, 334, 414, 3861, 739, 3835, 3777, 3, 436, 738, 647, 317, 130, eh, eh, AB alert. So we have to add scrambled eggs with extra butter. So scrambled eggs are maybe a little bit of sweet corn. So 130 is the third AB in this kit. And eh, 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 right next to it, we have the fourth AB, which is a 132, which is like a shredded carrots with a little bit of extra honey on it, if you know what I mean. So we have four AB so far counted in this kit. And let's get to our last string of drills here. Bloop. 648. Seven, I'm sorry, seven, 452, 744, 3834, 823, 939, double trouble for 939. So that is all the drills for this particular kit. And I'm going to pause you for a second because I know I'm going to get asked. I'm going to pause you, find the skin tone color, and then come back and show you the skin tone color. All right. So I'm a little scared right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little worried. So these are the colors that they chose for her skin tone. Now, I'm going to put up the original picture, okay? Um, she looks like a dark skin sister, okay? She looks like she's a little bit of extra dark chocolate, okay? Even on the box here, we have like a darky chocolate type skin. She's not like red boned or anything like that. But her skin tone color choices that they gave us are 3777, which go here. On her like around her shoulder here um, the other color is 356 and then the other color is 3830 so these are the colors that they chose for her skin tone I have to admit I'm a little worried about the skin tone I don't think that's gonna look good I think she's gonna look red um, this is the problem with a lot of pictures that I see that are inclusion is that the skin tone doesn't always match the image. So even on the image itself here, you can see it's a darker brown skin tone, but the drills are not a darker brown. They are this peachy, maybe clay color brown. Um, 3830 and 356 are the colors. Like I, mm, mm, I think they might've missed the mark on this one. I think they might've missed the mark on this one. I'm not even gonna lie. I love that Menard Club, don't get me wrong. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't it. That ain't it. I can tell you that right now. That ain't it. I don't care what you got to do. There's no magic that you can do that's going to make that look dark brown. So I'm a little iffy about the colors for this one. So her skin tone again are these two colors and where'd the other one go? I don't know where the other one went. But it's these two colors and 3777 are going to be the major colors for her skin tone. Q is the major skin tone, which is 356 which is this color here. So I don't I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm pretty sure Diamond Art Club 
has already seen it completed. So they, they have faith that it's going to work. So I'm just going to trust in the process, I guess. But me personally, that looks like it's going to be red. Okay. And I'm colorblind and I can still see that that looks like it's going to be red. So with that said, enough of that. So our ABs are going to be numbers one through four. So 101, 125, 130, 132, one, two, three, and four. So let's see if we can find a couple of them, shall we? So we have five all up in that moon. We have some number ones here by her hair. We're in between her hair there. I'm not seeing any ABs on her face. I have some ABs right there. Number ones. Number fours here on this part right here by the moon. Nope, that's number threes right there. I'm seeing a lot of number sevens. Number three down here on what this looks like a shooting star. Number three is kind of scattered in the sky as, I guess, like stars, maybe. And then we have, let's see, we found number one. Number two, okay, number two is up here. And that's the top of her hair. We have number two is essentially all throughout her hair, okay? So number two is all throughout her hair, um, even going down. So bird's eye view here. Our symbols are going to be number three here, number one in this blue area on her hair. We have some uh, more ABs over here in these little speckles. We have some more ABs down here on this, what looks like a shooting star. We have some more ABs on, it looks like what's coming off of her dress. Um, her hair is scattered with number twos. And then there's some number fours over here as well. So there you have it for Moon Goddess by Diamond Art Club. Again, I'm a little iffy on the skin tone. Um, it does look like it's going to be red when the picture itself looks like a dark brown. Um... So I'm not sure. I guess it's one of those things, like I said, you'll just have to trust the process. Either way, if this is a kit that you would like, did you get it on Black Friday or are you going to be getting it at any time soon? You let me know that down in the comment section. And while you figure that out, um, we're going to do a little movie magic to move on to our next kit. You ready? Here we go. All right. So we're on to our next image. What is our next image? If you haven't guessed it, it's going to be Lady of the Lake. Yes, another Sarah Mustafa. It is a 56 by 74, so a little bit bigger than the last one we unboxed. The renderings on these look great. I'm just a little worried about the skin tone, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to check this out. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And like I said, I do understand that it is harder to do a darker skin tone or a brown skin tone without making it look red, but I'm just saying. I, I gotta point out what I see. So, hold up, I didn't see no sticker. Oh, there it is, ha <laughs> ha, I almost missed it. So, our sticker as we usual, put on the side of the box. This is also a round, sorry if I didn't say that, again, y'all don't care about no toolkit. We're gonna get into this kit. See, they, they, they try to fool you by the way they, they roll these kits up. They're like, you're like, oh, this isn't big. It shouldn't take me long. And then you get it out of here and unroll it. And you're like, good God. All right, so that blue paper we got to save for Becky for next year for Christmas. And then we have Lady of the Lake by Sarah Mustafa. Start and end date. Isn't she gorgeous? 56 by 74. And again, it is a round with ABs. So we have our drills. We have our kit. Oh, my God. She is beautiful. All right, let's roll this backwards so it lays flat for you guys. So roll, roll, roll. Are you ready? Bam. Look at that. The rendering is incredible. All right, so this kit has 35 colors, which is great for a kit this size. This is a good beginner-friendly kit because it doesn't have a lot of colors. Where it is bigger, uh, you just take it in sections. Don't look at the whole kit when you're working on it. Take it in sections. Do it section by section, and it won't look so daunting to you. So 35 colors, 56 by 74, and we're going to take a look at the drills. So if you're someone who doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Or until you see me, stop struggling. All right. So you guys having a great day? Me too. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now this is a darker, darker type of image. So let's see. Holy smokes, Becky right off the bat, 552 of them, double trouble for 550 right off the bat. And let's see how many bags of 310 we have. We have one, two, three, four. 
Oh, we only have four. <laughs> so four bags of 310. Then we have three bags of 939. Again, this is a darker image, so you're going to get a lot of darker colors. 312, 336, double trouble there. 917, 823, double trouble there. 814, 3861. So we have one, two, three, four, four bags of 154. 451, 815, 221, 780, and 452. All right. So that is our second string of drills. So we have 300, 3860, 322, 334, 400, 355, 3823, 799, 3834, 414, 129, eh, eh, AB alert. Yes. So if you're new to diamond painting, again, if you don't know what diamond or ABs are, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's the iridescent coating that is put onto the drill to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter than your average drill. When you lay them down next to your average drill, though, it will pick up the color from them and make them sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So 129 is the first AB in this kit, and it is uh, like a pale yellow. So 129, 740. Uh -uh, a B alert. Yeah. So it looks like the yellows in this kit are going to be our shine, sparkle and shine kit um, for the kit. 130 is the next AB in this kit. And we're going to figure out exactly where those ABs go as soon as we're done uh, going through the rest of these drills. So that's our second AB of this kit. 779, 935, 3787, 742. That's not a lot. That makes me anxious. <laughs> 742, eh, eh, AB alert, yeah. So we have 133. This looks like chewed up bubble gum. I don't know what color that is. So it looks like kind of like chewed up bubble gum. I don't know. So 133 is the third AB in this kit. So you're getting three ABs in this kit. 602 and 817. All right. Let me tell you right now, don't drop any of those 742. <laughs> that makes me anxious. All right. Again, like we did last time, I'm going to pause you. Find the skin tone um, colors and come back and show you what they are. So give me one second. All right. So the main element of her skin tone is the letter J. There also is the letter H, which I can find that one really quick. There we go. So these are the two skin tone colors that they chose for this image. Because it is a darker image and you're looking at her in the nighttime, that I can say is going to work. That is going to make it look like the actual picture itself, which I will put up a picture of what the actual picture looks like compared to the drills. So yeah, you're looking at her in the nighttime with like just the moonlight shining on her, I'm guessing. So you're going to have a more of a muted brown for her skin tone instead of a like a bright, vibrant, reddish brown like the other one, which that could just be because of the way the light was reflecting off of her skin tone. But for a darker skin tone, I would think that would look a little bit darker, not red. But for this skin tone here, this one actually looks like it's going to be on point. So I have to give it up for them for this one. You get a thumbs up for the skin tone for this one because it looks like it's supposed to look, it looks like it's going to be the right color. Like, it looks like it's going to look like the actual picture itself. So, I will give them kudos on the skin tone for this one. So, let's take a look real quick at the ABs and where they are at. So, on your legend here, we have numbers one through three for our ABs. One, two, and three, of course, are going to be the ABs. So, let's take a look and see where we can find those at. And they are yellows and like a reddish color. So, we have yellow here. We have some sprinkles of number one there. Number one's here in the moon. Number two's up here and number three's as well. So it's kind of like a orangey color for that number three. Number two's there. Number two's over here. Let's see here. We have some number ones. Number one's down there as well. Number three on this like brooch-like thing on her scarf, I want to say. And then I think that's about it. Oh, nope, I lied. Number one's right here. Nope, that's number five. Number one's here. Number two's there. So they are sprinkled throughout the kit. So bird's eye view for you. Where are those ABs? Of course, we're going to find some in the moon on her head. Also on the sides of her face. We have some pale yellows over here on the sides to make up the stars. We have a patch of them here as well. Um, I don't think we have any on this side. But we do have some number threes, I think, on this area. Nope, number one's here. Number three is down here on her brooch. 
And then we have a patch of AB yellows right here as well. So there you have it. Lady of the Lake. I really got to say that this so far is going to be my favorite image because the skin tone matches. And I like the kind of muted color of this kit where it's not super bright, which means that if you didn't notice... Darker colors sparkle a lot brighter than lighter colors do. So this one is going to sparkle like nobody's business. So with that said, we're going to keep it moving right along to the next image. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up on the video. And uh, is this a kit that you're interested in? Did you get it on Black Friday or will you put it on your wish list? Let me know that down in the comments. And while you're doing that, we're going to get the last image. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so we've been to the moon. We've been to the lake. Let's see where we're going this time. So this last one that I got, I'm a sucker for Jeremiah Kettner, okay? And this last one is a 51 by 64. It is another round, which I didn't realize these were round. I never look at the shape. I just buy what I like. So this last one is a round. It's a 51 by 64. It is called Night Kitsune. Look at it. Isn't that adorable? Of course it is. I had to get it. It's a fox. Come on, foxy lady. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this open and take a look at this adorable little kit. And yes, I only got three kits from the Black Friday sale. One, because the way my bank account is set up, Christmas was cr crippling me, okay? I got a lot of family. <laughs> So I only got three kits. I might go back and get more. We'll have to wait and see. Right now I have enough. So that is good for me. So we're going to go ahead and get, again, this kit out of the box. Blam. We're going to get our sticker and put it on the side. Because unfortunately I have to put these babies away because I already have my next kit chosen for next year. If you didn't know and you're watching this at the time I put it up, I have finished all the diamond painting I'm going to do this year. Next year I will pick it up with a new diamond painting kit which was chosen by a random picker and it chose, y'all already saw the toolkit. It chose Bella Safina for our first kit of the new year. So stay tuned for that. Y'all probably see me do some adult coloring for the whipping chat. So it's not a big deal. Anyways, let's get into this kit. There we go. We got that blue paper. We got to save for Becky. We got our schematic and we got our drills. So Night Kitsune by Jeremiah Kettner, start and end date. Look at how cute that is. Again, it's a 51 by 64. It is a round. It only has 31 colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, and then of course, we're gonna put the drills off to the side because I wanna take a look at this adorableness. So 51 by 64, so a little bit smaller than Lady at the Lake. So we're gonna roll it backwards for you. Jeremiah Kettner makes the most amazing little images. They are so adorable. Bam! Oh my goodness, look at it! How did I not notice the, the bulbs, the little lanterns at the top? I showed you how much I pay attention. Jeez, on. So, we have a, this adorable little fox. He looks so freaking cute. I cannot wait to get started on this little guy. And we have our drill. So let's go ahead and take a look at these drills real quick. So, Night Kitsune. Which I thought Kitsune's had nine tails or eight tails. But I guess this one only has one tail and that is just fine with us. We are a no judgment zone here. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at these drills real quick. You ready? Let's see what our ABs are. 838, 939, double trouble there. 677, 3860, 647, 3371, 3023, 209, 340, 3835, 126, eh, eh, A, B, alert, yeah. So if you didn't hear me the first two times and you want to hear it for a third time, don't worry, Miss Coffee got you. So A, B stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. When you lay them down on the drill, or when you put them on your drill filled next to regular diamonds, it will make them sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine, you heard. So 126 is our first A, B of this kit. It's like a lavenderish purple, maybe like a lavenderish purplish pink. So we're going to figure out where that goes as soon as we're done looking at the rest of these drills. So let's go. 3861, 356, 3020, 327, sorry about that, 762, 301, 3064, 3864, and 975. Bloop. There's lots of purples in this kit. That's one of the reasons why I chose it. Oh, did anybody else notice that the bags change, like the numbers change? Like they had the, like the jumbo numbers and then like these little numbers. I wonder what that's about. Mostly a different machine. 3727, 
37, 46. 37, 46 again, double trouble there. 779, double trouble there. 797, double trouble there. Eh, eh, AB alert. Holy pacamole. So that is a lot of 136, which is a purplish AB. Y'all, I'm about to get real excited. <laughs> 136 is our next AB of this kit. And again, we're going to figure out where exactly where that goes as soon as we're done looking at the rest of the drills. But that is a lot of 136. 155 and 938. And then our last little tiny string here. 820, 792. Double trouble there. 823, 210, and 316. All right. So those are our colors. And it looks like we have two ABs in this kit. We don't need to look for a skin tone, so we're going to do a little movie magic to get rid of those drills. So you ready? Let's, let's, let's set it up here. We got to set it up. Here we go. All right. Isn't that funny how that works? Don't you wish you could just do that in real life? Just a little movie magic, sprinkle some magic on there, and bam, it's just back in the bag. Anyway, so let's take a look at it on our kit here. So we have two ABs, and it's going to be a number one and number two, of course. So let's take a look and see if we can find them. Like hide and seek with the ABs. So I see some number threes, but I'm not seeing any number twos or number ones yet. Again, I'm seeing number, th am I missing something? Like, oh, number three is number 12. I know a lot of y'all hate that. I ain't, I didn't do it. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I didn't do it. <laughs> so let's see, I see a lot of number threes. There are some number ones there on his chest. And then number two is that purpley color. So I'm looking for that. So I see some number twos down here at the bottom, but there's gotta be more than that because that's a big bag of number twos. So we just didn't look good enough. So we're gonna keep looking for that number two. I'm seeing R's, I'm seeing, oh, I'm slow. Look all around the fox's ears. See all those number twos in the orange? Literally it's outlining the fox on the top here. And it looks like it goes to about there. And on this side, it looks like it goes about here. And then it goes down. Down. It's literally outlining all of the fox for the most part until it gets about right here. And then it picks back up down here. We have another spot down here. And then back at it to outline the rest of the fox. So bird's eye view here. So we have... We have ABs here on his chest. We also have some on the tail and on his face for the the purple AB, the lavender pink AB, lavender purple pink AB, whatever you want to call it. So number one's here in his face, number one's on his chest, number one's on his tail, number two down here at the bottom on each side, and then going around the outline of the, the image here on the outside. So there is a nice sprinkling of ABs throughout this kit. This kit is absolutely adorable. Huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for bringing this image. It is freaking cute. I can't stand it. I want to pinch his little cheekies. All right, with that said, I'm going to bring back all three images, have a couple of final words, and I'll let you guys go. I'm picking up enough of your time. So let's go ahead and get those other two images, shall we? All right, so don't look off to the side, mind your business. So we're looking at these three images and the book, and that is what I got from the Black Friday sale over at Diamond Art Club. So we have The Draglings Bedtime Story by Randall Spangler. We have Lady of the Lake. And the images and their prices are going to pop up as I say their names. So Bedtime Stories, Lady of the Lake, <laughs> Night Kitsune, and uh, I'm sorry, that's not Lady of the Lake. That's Moon Goddess, my bad. Moon Goddess. Night Kitsune, and Lady of the Lake. So those three images were three of the images that were released during, during the Black Friday sale and um, the book. The book, I don't know when that was released, to be honest. I just happened to see it and was like, oh my God, Maggie would love this. So huge thank you for that. And with this book, the words are big enough that I think Maggie can read this on her own to us. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So of all three of these images, this one has to be my absolute favorite. This coming in at a close second. This one I'm still kind of iffy about. But the good thing about this is, is if you don't like her skin tone, you can always change it to something else. Find a darker and a lighter color and use that. See what they use for a darker and a lighter color. And then you choose a darker and a lighter color and change her skin tone yourself. Um, I do 
hope that I mean they they they're they're all they're gonna have like a hit and a miss every once in a while. So it's not a super big deal. Like I said, I can change it if I want to, or I can stick to what they have it as and see how it turns out. But I actually like the image, so I I had to get it. And of course, this one hit the mark on the head or the nail on the head with the skin tone. And he doesn't have a skin tone. He's just adorable. So with that said, folks, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Any other questions, comments, concerns, you know how we do. Put those down in the comment section below. I love reading your comments. And I'll get back to you if you have any questions as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I got to get out of here. Thank you again so much for watching this entire video. If you got through the entire video, you get 100 cool points, okay? You get 100 cool points because this is a long video. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. So please stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Keep your six feet and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.